In the heart of Africa, where the golden grass sways under a burning sun, a story older than time itself is about to unfold. Two of Earth's largest land mammals, calm, wise, and powerful, are preparing for one of nature's most primal rituals. This is not a fight, not a migration. It's love, elephant style. Behind every birth, every trumpet of a newborn calf, lies an invisible drama of instincts, power, and choice. Welcome to the secret love life of giants. Elephants may look peaceful, but beneath that calm hides a storm of emotion and desire. Unlike many animals, elephants have no fixed mating season. The rhythm of their love is guided by rain, food, and one irresistible signal, the female's scent. When a female comes into heat, or estrus, her body releases a powerful perfume that can travel for kilometers. But how do the males know? With their trunks raised high, they can smell her hormones from kilometers away. The trunk, a six-foot masterpiece of muscle and sensitivity, is their radar of love. To the males, it's a beacon in the savanna wind. They lift their trunks high, tasting the air, decoding invisible messages of chemistry and life. For just a few days, every few months, she becomes the center of attention, the queen of the wild. And as she moves, unseen males begin to gather. The calm savanna is about to erupt. When a male elephant is ready to mate, his body transforms. He enters a state called must, a word that means both power and madness. His testosterone skyrockets up to 60 times normal levels. Thick, oily fluid oozes from glands beside his eyes. His temples glisten, and a musky scent floods the air. He dribbles urine continuously, marking his path with his own cologne. Now he's ready and dangerous. Other males know it. When two must bulls meet, sparks fly. When two must bulls meet, the savanna trembles. They fight for dominance and for the right to approach a female in heat. Two male elephants can fight for several days for the right to mate with a harem of females. They wrestle, push, clash tusks, sometimes to the death, for the right to approach a female in heat. But in the elephant world, brute force isn't everything. Females are watching, and they get to choose. Elephant society is ruled by females, mothers, sisters, grandmothers, and when it comes to love, it's the female who makes the final call. She inspects the males that approach her, their smell, their strength, their patience. She might flirt, nudge him, or walk away. If he's too young, too aggressive, or simply unimpressive, no chance. the female's body begins a process unmatched in the animal kingdom. A 22-month pregnancy, the longest of any land mammal, the hardest period of her life. She needs to eat for two and get plenty of rest. By the end of her pregnancy, she has almost no energy. She gives it all to the baby she's expecting. Two years of carrying a life and remembering the bull who gave it. Shortly before the birth of her baby, the mother elephant tries to bond mentally with one of the females. The female will assist her during the birth. When the time comes, she tries to step away from the herd and gives birth. The herd waits patiently nearby, and when the calf is born, the entire herd immediately runs to the female and calf 
to create a tight ring against predators. And a baby is born, a wobbly 100 kilogram miracle, a baby with wrinkled skin, floppy ears, and the future of the herd written in its eyes. The female eats the remains of the placenta to hide traces of the birth of the cub from predators. Within minutes, he's standing. Within an hour, he's walking. And soon he's surrounded by a circle of trunks, mothers, sisters, and aunts welcoming him to the world. And the father? He's long gone. In elephant society, males don't raise the young. The family belongs to the females, a matriarchal world where sisters and aunts help raise every baby together. When a young bull reaches adolescence around age 12, he's pushed out of the family herd. By sending him off, the herd avoids inbreeding and teaches him independence. He wanders the savanna alone, learning to fight, to find water, to face lions and heat, to travel great distances. He may join other young males, forming temporary bachelor herds, the boys clubs of the elephant world, bachelor herds that brawl, play and practice for the day they'll face real rivals. And when Must calls, he becomes a nomad again, searching for females ready to mate. There are no lasting couples, no lifelong pairs, but in their brief encounters, they shape the next generation and keep the great elephant families alive. Elephants communicate constantly in ways we're only beginning to understand. Low-frequency rumbles travel through the ground for miles. They can feel these calls through their feet and trunks, vibrations that say, I'm here, I'm ready. A secret language of love that binds them across distance and time. Even when they cannot see each other, they remain because their brief encounter sustains one of the most intelligent and extraordinary societies on Earth. Because in the end, for elephants, Love isn't about forever, it's about life itself. Elephants love with wisdom and strength. They teach us that true connection is built on care, respect, and time. We must protect them, for they protect the balance of nature itself. <laughs>